All right, so we're in the second quarter of playing as the, uh, the Dallas Cowboys. And they actually made me fumble right before the, right before the first quarter ended. And I stopped him again on defense, so now i got to try to get them points on the board. has the look of the game that's going to wind up being won in the trenches. Well, we found out talking to both of these teams during the week, they're sick of all this offense in the NFL. Man, they wanted to come out and make a statement, and both teams have done that so far. Beasley's got it now, and that's a gain of nine. The Steelers' defense knocked the ball loose at just the right time. The last time they were out right. there, just when it so looked like they were about to get up. I feel pretty good. I can definitely oh, get a man, touchdown with these guys. What I love about this defense, they get a lot of guys around the football. And when you do that, one is hitting the, the carrier, and somebody else is trying to strip that football loose. All right, let me turn Randall's things up a little bit. never able to build up that power pick that he has as a running back. A but there's nowhere to go. Hey, there's nowhere to go. That's a short game. It's now second down and seven after the three-yard rush. Romo lines up in the pistol. Oh! And the ball falls incomplete. Bryant's one of those guys. If he drops a pass or makes a mistake on the field, he doesn't make excuses. He knows no matter what the circumstances are, if you get your hands on the football as a receiver in the NFL, everybody expects you to make the catch. The Steelers sat at the line. Dime package. Third and seven. Oh, my gosh. Very really nearly intercepted. That was very bad. Phil, if that first quarter was any indication, all right, I'll try this to go is going to be all about defense today. I feel like I really well, want to make some stuff happen. Defenses, Jim. When, I'm not going to question that. Things you know what really happens a lot of times in games offense, like this? So as the defense stays on the field, it gets happen. a little tired. That's when the offenses take over. We'll see if these defenses can hang in there today. The Cowboys don't want any part of punting the football. They're going to go for it on fourth down. Randall's in the backfield, single back set. Yeah, Tony we got Romo it. Hits Jason Witten with that pass. That's his first reception today. The Cowboys do a really terrific job picking up that fourth down play that time. It gives them an emotional lift. And look at the defense. They are down because they gave it up. The Cowboys from the 37. Trying to plow ahead. Oh, yeah, he's plowing all right. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. Randall's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers. And what does he do? Right, he gets past a little, little bit good about the run. Down. So we'll go ahead and try to take another one. Halfway through the second quarter. Takes another handoff. This Randall's taken over. down at the 46. Randall's trying to be patient, but there is nowhere to run that time, and he only gets a short game. Set up now at the 46. And we've reached the two-minute warning. I'm going to try to cancel out as we return from the two minutes routing. I want to make him a blocker. They bring in the extra tight end. There we go. Second and eight. Tony Romo connects with Des Bryant. My gosh, the wide receivers in the NFL now, it's just, it's incredible. It's not that you have one. Every team has two and three, and some have four. Good job that time. I love when a play uh, in goes pass. all the way through. It succeeds. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that. Whoa. That was and close. Complete yeah, that was Jason under pressure. Whitten. Well, you get a couple first downs on the drive. It just, of course, it makes you feel good about what you're doing. It loosens up the offensive play caller. And there's nothing like dictating to the defense. I love it. 
They're back at the line after that catch for a first Ooh. down. Mitchell's all over the ball carrier. He wanted that. I get tell. The Steelers' defense is so fast and so powerful. That time on the run play, they just overpower the offensive line. They tackle the runner for a loss. About to snap it for the ninth play of the drive. Romo's setting up now in the pistol. Second down and 11. Oh, oh it almost picked off that time. Things get tight down here in the red area. I got to give the defensive man a lot of credit, though. In position, sees the ball thrown, and is able right, to get I that hand try up it there again. and knock it down. Because it looks like a Two play. tight ends on the field here. Third and 11. Gotcha. Makes the catch in the end zone. Let's just see there on the second time throwing that. Oh, look, they're fighting. <laughs> They have the lead right. now here late in the second, thanks to that touchdown, and they should have it. In fact, when we go to the intermission. Oh, oh now you I see. Finally got my touchdown. You know those things. I'm just kidding, of course, Jim. Like to have a little fun with you every once in a while, but hey, nice drive by the offense that puts them in a great frame of mind going into halftime here soon. The Steelers set to return the kick. It'll be a touchback. The Steelers weren't able to get anything out of their last drive and were forced to punt as they take the field here. Do you think they are going to bury their approach, Phil? Well, I hope so. I think they will. They, they got a lot of information out there in that short drive, Jim, and you do that by showing different formations and plays. You saw how the defense reacted to it. Now you counter-react and see if you can get some positive play. I'm sure they're tired of being in the free and out business. Oh, it's a bad business to be in. I know, I'm getting a lot of bad business. Well, you got to know the situation as a player, even if the coaches didn't All right, tell so you I'm just going to stay prepared know. for a when winning pass. When you get a chance inside of two minutes to get out of bounds, you check. do it. Okay, it's the end of the second quarter. And that will close out the first half here with the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Time now for a short break, and we'll be back after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report.